So college admissions did not go as planned this year. And I don't think I'm alone in that. I think this happened for a lot of people, but I'm gonna go through my whole college admission experience. So far this year, it has been a wild ride and I have <laughs> second guessed myself and it, it hasn't been fun. It's been really hard, but I am happy to say that I'm excited about where I'm going. I think it's going to be really great. I did not expect to be committing to the college that I committed to, but here we are. So I'm going to walk you through from the beginning, from when I first applied to where I am now, where it's going, and I hope to share my whole college experience with you guys. So back in fall 2022, I had absolutely no idea where I wanted to apply to college. I really just didn't want to commit my mind to a school because I was worried that I wouldn't get in and then I would get my hopes dashed. So I didn't want to be that person that picked one school and then, you know, had their dreams go down in flames. So I didn't want to be that person. So I didn't ever pick a top school, which was really not a good thing for me because every time I saw a school, I'd be like, yeah, I mean, it's fine. And I never really pictured myself in any of these schools that I visited. So that was definitely a first flaw of my college search is that I never put myself in a student's perspective. I never actually, it was all theoretical really. So when it came around to time to decide for schools that I'd be applying to around like October, I was like, geez, I really don't know where I'm going to apply to. And so I kind of just did my fallback, which is kind of how I've been conditioned because my family, I decided to apply early decision to Dartmouth, which Obviously, if you know, Dartmouth is a very hard school to get into, and it was kind of my wild card. I wanted to use my wild card instead of, you know, just wasting it because I did have a probably a higher than average chance to get into Dartmouth just because of my family, and it's kind of what my whole life had led up to, so I put in my application to Dartmouth, early decision, and then I kind of just forgot about it. I did started thinking to myself like, hmm, like how, how do I see myself at Dartmouth? And it was hard for me to picture myself actually going there. So I waited and in December I got my decision. Today I'm gonna be finding out if I got into Dartmouth. I just need to rip off the band-aids, so let's go find out if I got in. Deferred. Deferred to regular decision. It was really hard for me to get deferred from Dartmouth because although I hadn't really committed emotionally to going there, I just kind of thought that I would get in there because of my parents and my brother. It, I was just, like I said, conditioned to go there just from my whole childhood and everything. So being deferred was kind of hurtful and I was second guessing myself. What did I do wrong? How could I have made this better? Was it because of whatever like grade that I got or because I didn't send my SAT or whatever it was? One thing that did cause me to change my mindset was I went into my counseling office and she said like, congratulations, that's a big achievement being deferred from an Ivy. And I'm like, wow, like I didn't, think of it at first, but now that I've been through all this, like, that is a pretty cool achievement if these schools are only able to accept whatever, like, 1,200 students, at least that's what it is in the case of Dartmouth. I was deferred from early decision, so that's definitely something. So it was a little bit of a confidence boost for me, but it was still tough because I really didn't know what I was going to do. I had two weeks in December to write all of my applications. First off, I had to decide what schools I was going to apply to, and I just didn't know. So I went through 
the list of schools that we had visited and just schools that I hadn't said no to because there were a lot of schools that I just said an outright no to. I decided to apply to two more Ivies, so Columbia and Brown, which looking back was not a great use of my time. And then I applied to NYU, the University of Florida, University of Miami, and the University of Central Florida. So I thought that there were some high range schools, a couple more mid range, and then one safety. And boy was I wrong. Looking back, I would have applied early action. I should have applied early action. If I could go back and change how I applied, I definitely would change it. I would have applied early action to these schools and I would have applied to a lot more schools because when you're throwing in three wild cards, basically throwaways to Ivy's, the other four you're, are really important. And I honestly had no idea how to apply to college. I did not do any research. I just kind of went with the flow and I could have done better. I should have done better, but I think it's going to work out. I think it'll be great. But looking back, I did not do the best for myself. So I, sh I should have done more. But I wrote all of my applications over Christmas break and I got to a point where I just could not do any more. So I had to submit them. And as they were, maybe not the best thing ever, but they were done, they were in, and I was able to kind of relax. So then the waiting started. Thankfully, the University of Central Florida was rolling admission. I received my decision in the end of January, which was very quick and reasonable, and I'm really grateful that I had that little bit of encouragement throughout this process because it was really hard um, waiting and worrying and thinking of all of the what ifs. Okay, I'm opening my application decision for UCF. Are you ready? Yay! I'm assuming confetti means yay! <laughs> so I got accepted to the University of Central Florida, which is that was my safety. I'm very glad that I got accepted there because I honestly would have been very concerned if I had not. I I don't wanna brag, but I have good grades, I have a high GPA, I have great extracurriculars and everything. So I thought I was pretty much a given to get into the University of Central Florida, but <laughs> just wait, I did not know this was coming, so. March rolls along and I get an email from the University of Miami and it says like, hey, there's an update in your account. And I was like, oh no, like, did I forget something? This is too early, I don't, I don't wanna look. So I looked. Okay, it says status update. I don't know what that means. Rejected? What? University of Miami? At first I thought it was a rejection and I was like, wow. I thought that I was a good candidate for these schools and turns out they didn't think so. So I really did not know what to do. I read it again, saw that I was waitlisted, which still is not that much better. But yeah, it was hurtful and I was like, if I didn't get into that school, I am not gonna get in anywhere. The next school that I heard back from was NYU and I love New York, I loved NYU, but I was doubting myself. I decided that I was not going to get in and that's what happens. Okay, I'm signing in to NYU right now. No. I got a no from NYU. <laughs> then we have Ivy Day, which of course, if I didn't think I was gonna get into NYU, I was not going to get into the Ivies. So yesterday was Ivy Day and I didn't look, so I'm gonna look this morning. I applied to Columbia, Brown, and Dartmouth, so we'll see. I have pretty low expectations. Status update, view update. 
Yeah. Haha. Uh -huh. Wait, how many applicants did that say? 57,000? I looked it up this morning, yeah. Jeez. Okay, admission decision. Brown. 50,000. Yeah, okay. Moving on. Okay, here's Dartmouth. Let's see. Okay. Unable to offer you a spot. I had expected that from the beginning, to be honest, but it's still not fun to get no's. I was not paying attention to deadlines in the fall because I was kind of worried about Dartmouth and trying to do my best to apply there and I did not apply to University of Florida's regular admission deadline which was like November 7th. I applied for the space available date and I didn't realize that that meant you're not going to get in. Alright, this is the last one. This is UF. View update. Oh no. Oh no. They don't have any space, I guess. So I didn't get in and that was kind of my plan was to go there. Turns out that didn't work out. I got deferred, accepted, waitlisted, denied, 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 denied. Is that all of them? So it was tough because honestly, I thought I was a good candidate. So I had to make the hard decision Am I going to go to UCF or am I going to try again next year or maybe apply and do online school somewhere for a year or <laughs> I didn't know what was going to happen. So I thought about it long and hard and I made a decision. And you are looking at a class of 2027 UCF night made this decision a couple days ago and I put down my deposit and I've been like getting really excited for this. I was just so worried because it was all unknown and after thinking about it and actually placing myself in the shoes of a student, like thinking about where I'd live, what I would do there, what I would study, I was like, yeah, I think this could really work. It's a big school, it's got a lot of opportunities and I love Florida. So I've really been like thinking about myself as a UCF Knight and I think it's gonna be great. So I'm planning on studying probably business at this point. I'm not really sure, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna be moving to Florida this summer and I just think it's gonna be great. I'm gonna have so much fun there. I've already been haunting the class of 2027 Instagram page and like messaging people, trying to make some friends. I just think it's gonna be awesome. I'm like planning out all these things I'm gonna do there. I'm gonna go to Halloween Horror Nights, which I've never been to. I'm going to join the equestrian club. I'm going to hopefully join their like their theme park club. I think that would be really fun. There are just so many things and it's a giant school. So they're like basically endless opportunities. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was helpful for you if you're Going to be going through the college process or if you've just gone through it now so it's been really hard this year to actually get in a lot of schools have record high applicants this year and so of course they had record low acceptance rates and it was just really hard but i'm very glad that i've got this figured out i can start planning i made a shopping list like this is actually coming together so i can't wait to bring you guys along on my college journey i want to document going through all of this moving to florida like everything. I think it's going to be really fun. So thank you for joining me on this college experience. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be bringing you to Florida very soon. And yeah, I'm just so excited to get this new part of my life started. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.